Alrighty guys, welcome to part 7 of this mini Power Wheels build here. I've got loads of new goodies to go on it, got some new tyres around the back there, got a little winch there, fire extinguisher and a box of paint here, and lots of little bits and bobs, but yeah, let's crack on. So with all those little bits done, the last big job is just to join the body up together. this works this has cost me some flesh now ow oh, it's gonna sting tomorrow
Okay, so we're pretty much there with it now. We've got the body joined up, forward drive done, um, winch mounted, rear bumper done as well, uh, and even put a little 3D printed badge on there to replace the, the central um, beam that ran through there. Um, so yeah, now it's the easy part. Take it apart. From underneath, it doesn't even look like it's welded together. Huh. Just hope. So that is the frame ready to be painted, hopefully. Um, I've got a couple of little brackets there to strengthen this um, steering plate here with the bearings bolt on. Um, here where this bracket was here, or this support was, I just ground that away for now. So I think there's probably enough metal in it as there is sort of thing, so. <laughs> um, tab there for the isolator switch. Um, a couple of bars here just for strength. Um, and just tie in the line, sort of going down there sort of thing. Um, yeah ready for paint. So it's taken three cans of primer uh, and six cans of this orange paint, uh, RAL code 2004, but it's finally there. Thank God, it's starting to mount up all the spray paint. I've got three more here, uh, so that'll be nine in total. A um, couple of few blacks, loads more primer. Yes, getting there.
Okay, so that's all the painting done. Um, everything that's going to be orange is now orange. Um, so I'm going to try and stick the engine in it. I've got to cut off these two supports on the front and back there from when I had it on the trestles. But um, yeah, I'm just going to nip them off. Um, and then, yeah, try and drop the engine in. <laughs> Scratch all that lovely paint I just put on. Ah, oh, yes.
there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed that little blast around there. Um, I haven't fully engaged send mode yet, but yeah, sort of warming to it, getting there sort of thing. There's a bit of tuning to do on the carb. Um, I'm gonna put a, a quieter exhaust on because that, that soon became unfun. Um, the seat, I think I'm gonna change the seat as well, just sort of, sort of sliding into these sidebars so much, because um, that hurts um, in the morning. Um, Four-wheel drive system, that seems to have held up quite well actually. Um, my main concern was going to be these these nuts here, um, because they're not hard. This this socket sort of harder material, whereas the nut isn't. Um, but it seems to be holding on all right, sort of thing. Even though it's a small nut in comparison to the size of the wheel there, that seems to seems to be okay. Um, and I do I did sort of worry about these UJs as well, because as you because this is a locked front axle when he's in four-wheel drive. As you move through the motion of steering, um, you'll increase the severity of the phasing of the UJ. Yes, managed to word that sort of. Um, but I've sort of limited the steering on the inside wheel when it's turning on the inside um, to 37 degrees, which is about the limit um, that you want to go over UJ, which seems to work sort of thing. Um, you don't feel any wobble in the steering, um, especially when you're going at speed or anything. Um, and I don't quite know whether that's just sort of flex in the chain or it's skipping on the ground or whether it's sort of chattering on this nut chattering backwards and forwards a little bit, but Yeah, that doesn't seem to matter too much um, Of course it does when it's in two drive It doesn't matter because he's completely disconnected so the half shafts can sort of float around at their own pace, but yeah um, There's a bit of an issue under here With this steering member here touching the, the chain here um, but I might leave that for a minute because I'm thinking about getting slightly longer springs um, with more travel on them um, just so I've got a bit more a bit more height and a bit more chance for the suspension to sort of come up sort of thing uh, and the same on the rear they were sort of bottoming out um, and I think they were bottoming out on the coolant pipes yeah there's a little scuff of paint there on that bar and then the coolant pipe here there's a little scuff of paint there but yeah, aside from that, none of the coolant pipes started leaking. Um, nothing's fallen off, none of the bolts came off. Um, didn't scratch too much paint. No, it was pretty good. Didn't use the fire extinguisher, most importantly, which is good. Um, I'm thinking about putting a little tow hitch on it. Um, and what else? Little bits and bobs, got to finish off wiring the winch up, mount a switch in there out a couple of the electrical parts uh, and then she's pretty much there but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later